all of you dirty rats. We're on. Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is May 6th, 2020, and I'm in Covington, Louisiana. We're only about six miles from the Abbey. I don't even think it's six miles from the Abbey, but we're right on the Chifuncta River. Now, you can't see it where we are because, well, we're not really right on the river. We're back off the river, but it's just about a block that way, and so we're these houses around here, they're all big houses, all elevated houses. And you know, typically with elevated houses, what do you get? Bees in the ceiling. And that's exactly what we have today. Scaffolding is all set up. You can see the scaffolding set up behind us. And Charlie, you want to zoom in on the, on the bees up in the top? Yeah. There's our bees right there. Oh, I didn't tell you who's with us on this adventure. Wreck it, Ralph! Ralph, get him to fix me over there. Look at this. We got Wreck it, Ralph, and good time, Charlie. Good time, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, they're both here on this job. So Wreck it, Ralph, he's got the scaffolding set up already. Uh, I can smell honey from right here. I can smell the honey. So we know we got a lot of honey. I shot the flare, and the signal extends all the way to this point right here, from here to the column, and I'm sure it's from this width of it, the whole width. It's got to be almost two feet wide, but I can smell so much. The smell of honey is really heavy right here, so I know we're going to have lots of honey, lots of bees, and I'm sure there's lots of comb. The whole family is going to be here. The, the, the homeowners and the, his whole family, they're going to be here today. They're not here right this moment, but they're going to be here. The homeowner as well as the father-in-law. So it's Brian, Dominique, and Nick. And I think there's even their children, too, will be here. So at some point, they'll all be filing in, and they want to see the, the bees removed from their house. So by the grace of God, a couple hours, these bees right here, they come to make a new home at St. Joseph Abbey. Let's ride the hotel. Charlie? Let's go. Right, we're going to pull this two by four out here, and then we're going to take this one section out. Our bees should be in this area right here. So hopefully we can just take out one Well, there it is. Man, oh man. That, that plywood, they shot with those staples, and that, that plywood, it just did not want to come off of there. So, Ralph uh, had to enlist my help to pull that thing down because it was just so, like, almost like glued on there, but it wasn't. It was just those staples had it really good. So this is what we're looking at. That, that is a lot of honeycomb in there. The build section is going to be located between the floor joists right here, which is only about six inches space. And the boom goes from the column to this point right here, and the next two feet is nothing but honey. It's all brand new comb and it's honey. And in this section right here, 
it's all honey right here. A lot of bees, a lot of comb, a lot of honey. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and start vacuuming, try and knock the numbers down a little bit before we start cutting out comb. And I don't know, I'm, I'm actually kind of thinking we're going to start with our honey section first and get this out of the way and then come over and start working on this stuff right here. Well, Ralph, you ready? I'm ready. All right, we're going to start vacuuming. and I have been vacuuming bees and cutting comb for, I don't know, it's, it's been at least half an hour, 45 minutes. And what's interesting, and I've never encountered this before, but this foam, this foam insulation does not make it easy to remove the comb from it because the surface isn't flat. So a lot of the comb I had to tear off and then cut back there's still a couple of pieces of comb still in there. But for the most part, all of our honeycomb is removed. And at the very end of this joy space, you'll see where the, the toilet piping is coming down and the bees are congregating up in there. So we're gonna leave them stay up in there for right now. And after we get all the other bees vacuumed out, we're gonna chase those girls out and vacuum them, them up as well. So we're going to change our focus now. We're going to take a little break, get some water, and we're going to move over to this side where all the brood is. And we're going to start at the honey end again, removing the honeycomb first, working our way to the brood comb. And there's honey in here as well, but we'll encounter brood and honey probably on the same section of comb. We've really knocked the numbers down, as you can see. And I'm hoping all this stuff is going to come out of here without too much difficulty. All right, we're going to move over to this side now.
we removed all of the honeycomb from this section right here and we're down it now into the brood section of the comb and this queen is a layer boy her pattern is gorgeous so we've changed up our ice chest we're now moving into another ice chest to place all of our brood comb because I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to frame all this stuff up and give it right back to the bees so we're gonna start cutting this comb out and you know as we're cutting it out you know what I'm gonna be looking for I got my queen catcher right here in the pocket Ralph's right here up with me so he's looking too I think we're gonna find her too all right we're gonna start cutting out comb and vacuuming cut out of there and there's still a big cluster of bees right right there but then there's bees in the back as well so you know it it's time for honey bandit I'm gonna go ahead and spray it we have the vacuum running I'll be vacuum bees and looking for that queen I still I still think that queen is still right up in there so we're gonna find out real shortly so I'm gonna shoot the honey bandit in the back far corner it'll chase them out and hopefully it'll start breaking up this cluster of bees right up here I really think she's in that cluster hold, hold on if you got her hold on we got to video it here let me pick her up with my hand yeah you got her Ralph Woo, Ralph, Ralph found the queen on the ground Woo, open up the cage Thank you, Jesus and Ralph. Look at this. Amen. Woo! Man, what, what a battle. <laughs> uh, Ralph and I, we got stung all up. Uh, <laughs> we had to take the honey shower. The robber bees are in force. They just like, it's just, it's a mess right here. We got so much honey everywhere, but we got our queen. Thank you, Jesus, for that. We're going we're gonna to do a little bit more vacuum up, but with the robber bees right here, I'm not going to really pay that much more attention to the, to the bees up there, except for the ones that ran down to the other end of the joist, because I know those are our hive bees. We got our queen. We got a ton of bees, and literally, I, I, I'm guessing 100 pounds of honey, but we'll show you all that stuff when we wrap this thing up. Well, <laughs> that was a battle I couldn't have done by myself. Golly, the, uh, the amount of work to take this hive out for one person it's just it's just a lot so with Ralph assisting the whole time because Ralph was there vacuuming as I was cutting the comb oh man it just made the job so much easier the the honey just oh it's everywhere I'm soaking wet with with honey and, and water we washed everything off but the bees that are left there's just no telling between uh, the robber bees and the hive bees so tomorrow I'll come out here tomorrow with the uh, everything bee vac and our bees they'll be clustered up and I'll vacuum them up uh, for that so let's go ahead and show you uh, the bees and of course the queen and the honey 
look at the bees here. I'm telling you, I don't know the exact number, but we since we vacuumed for so long, it's got to be in that 30, 40,000, oh, Ralph. Pretty much. And uh, Ralph's got the queen. She is a monster queen, a monster queen. She's doing well. All our bees are in here, and the, um, the robber bees are over there. Look at this. I mean, that's all honey. This is all honey, and this is our brood. We probably got 100 pounds easy of honey. Got enough brood to fr give them 10 frames of their brood, and I'll be feeding them their honey as well. I'll be feeding the honey, because this stuff is absolutely no, not frameable. It's just a, this would just be a disaster to put this in the, in the hive, especially right now with the hive beetles at their height right now. That is a lot of stuff in here. All right, we're going to close this up before we get robber bees in here. And it ain't there, folks. Well, there's a lot of honey still up there. <laughs> but by tomorrow, these, these robber bees, they'll clean this stuff up. And our hive bees, they're going to cluster up somewhere in here and I'll come vacuum them up. But that was a lot of comb up there. Ooh, Lee, I'm glad this job's over. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> all right, let's wrap this video up. I, w I wish everybody could see what us three are looking at right now. They have so many bees flying underneath this carport out in the yard right now. It's just like, like Ralph said a few minutes ago, there's more bees out now than there were when we got here. And they really are. So, uh, Ralph, you got anything that you want to say? Keep on watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless. Wreck we're out of here. All right, now we're going to do it one more time. All right? Okay. 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 So, Ralph, you got anything to say? Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God, God bless. bless. Wreck it, Ralph. And good time, Charlie. And Mr. Ed. We're out of here until <laughs> the next video. God bless. Monday morning now, Cristobal's passed through. She didn't uh, leave too much rain for us here in the uh, New Orleans area, but man, along the Gulf Shore around the Dirt Rooster, they got hammered. I've been trying to call him, he hadn't answered his phone yet, find out how they made out. We did fine. But I'm going back over to the job that we did on Saturday and vacuum up those bees that were left behind and as well as when I come back, we'll go ahead and release our queen and set up the box. I got a, a whole nother box of honey to put onto them, and I'll show you all that. So let's go vacuum up some bees, huh? There's Robin still going on. They haven't got it all cleaned up yet, but up on the inside, get some light up in there. There's our little cluster of bees. That's a good little cluster. So I'm going to go ahead and vacuum these little girls up, bring them back to the mama, and make them happy. Right, let's go ahead and take our lid off of the everything bee back and show you what, how many bees were vacuumed up this time. There they are. Not a lot. A couple hundred for sure. So let's head up to the Abbey. Reunite these bees with their sisters. Turn that queen loose. And get that other box of honey on. Before we go release those bees, I want to show you. Here's all the comb that I crushed out on Saturday. And the honey below it. Let me lift that colander up and show you how much honey is in there. How about this for our haul of honey in there, huh? That's got to be eight or nine gallons of honey in there, easy. So I'm gonna to wanna to work kind of fast here. This box that I'm getting ready to put on top is full of honey and I don't want the bees to start any kind of robin situation. So I'm gonna start by getting untangled from that fence. <laughs> and um, I'll start by taking our queen that's in the cage right now. We're gonna turn her loose. I'm gonna turn her loose right now and get her 
back with her daughters. And as you can tell, she's alive and well. <laughs> Give me that shot over. Now I know you can see her. All right, let's turn to this. I want to make sure I see her crawl down into the box. That's the, what I'm concerned with. And there she is. I just want to see her go down. She's walking on the top. There you go. She headed down. So now, I'm going to take our box of honey, supers. That box of honey, that is. I got a lot of frames in here because most of that honey I wasn't able to frame up so I'm giving them a bunch of framed up comb already some really nice stuff they'll be able to I've got like eight frames of that in here so it's really they're gonna be in great shape we got that all in there let's close these girls up all right you know before we close it up let's go ahead and bounce these bees right on top of that There's a good cluster of them right there. And we'll get these girls in there as well. And now we'll close it up. Now that's a good ending to a story. <laughs>